The Restoration Center was opened in 2008 with a simple mission to provide a one-stop shop for people in crisis so they could avoid going to jail or emergency rooms. Through an expansive array of crisis and substance use services, all housed at the Restoration Center, the Center for Healthcare Services has returned over 100,000 people to their families and communities, while saving millions in taxpayer dollars by reducing unnecessary ER and jail visits. Programs and services offered at the Restoration Center span across two buildings conveniently located next to Haven for Hope in the heart of San Antonio's West Side and include the sobering unit, detox unit, crisis care center, minor medical clinic, opioid addiction treatment services, OATS, and the Diana M. Burns Banks Primary Care Clinic, to name a few. The Substance Use Public Sobering Unit is designed to take inebriants off the street and completely bypass the judicial system. Law enforcement simply drops off consumers who are monitored by EMT and recovery support specialists until they have sobered up. Motivational engagement is utilized and multiple admissions are never viewed as a failure. The center's residential detoxification unit, Detox, is a licensed, accredited 28-bed facility offering medical oversight and recovery support from people withdrawing from addictive substances. Residencies are typically five to seven days, but will vary depending on a person's symptoms. The Crisis Care Center is a 16-bed walk-in mental health clinic that's open 24-7 with on-site direct care staff, including psychiatrists, licensed clinical social workers, licensed professional counselors, registered nurses, RN, and licensed vocational nurses, LVN, and caseworkers. The center also provides crisis services through the 24-hour Crisis and Substance Use Helpline and with MCOT, the Mobile Crisis Outreach Team. Opioid Addiction Treatment Services, or OATS, is a licensed and accredited outpatient narcotic treatment program for people addicted to opioids, such as prescription pain medications and heroin. Participants must be at least 18 years old, meet diagnostic criteria for opioid dependence, and have a one-year history or more of opioid dependence. The newest addition to the Restoration Center is the Diana M. Burns Banks Primary Care Clinic, an innovative new healthcare clinic offering primary care services to people receiving treatment for mental health and or substance abuse. Providers oversee a wide range of medical services from routine checkups, including preventative screenings, vaccinations, and well woman examinations, to the treatment of chronic conditions such as hypertension, diabetes, and high cholesterol. Additional programs offered at the Restoration Center include Intensive Outpatient Substance Use Treatment, IOP, designed for people who cannot leave work, school, or other responsibilities, and do not require a higher level of care. Mommy's program specialized female IOP substance use treatment for mothers recovering from addiction. Co-occurring psychiatric substance use disorder, or COPS-D, offering case management and wraparound support services. The Restoration Center, OSAR, providing outreach, screening, assessment, and referrals to people seeking substance use treatment. NAS Residential Treatment Program, a specialized female inpatient residential program for mothers and mothers-to-be with a diagnosis of opioid substance use disorder, moderate or severe. And SA Job Development, offering a supported employment program for people participating in medication-assisted treatment. To learn more about the programs and services offered at the Restoration Center, please contact the Restoration Center OSAR at 210-261-3076 or 210-246-1300. The Center for Healthcare Services is an active member of the Southwest Texas Crisis Collaborative, known as STIC. 
STIC membership includes local mental health authorities like the Center for Healthcare Services, local hospitals, law enforcement, courts, judges, private behavioral health providers, advocacy and consumer organizations, and intellectual and developmental disabilities authorities and providers. These stakeholders have created a crisis continuum to address the behavioral health needs of the residents of Bear County and surrounding counties. Programs include the Law Enforcement Navigation Program, which utilizes a regional dispatch system to immediately route law enforcement officers responding to behavioral health crisis situations in the community to the closest, most appropriate psychiatric facility. Other programs include psychiatric emergency services for patients in need of acute psychiatric care to alleviate the need for inpatient beds, the Program for Integrated Care Coordination, or PIC, and finally, the Chronic Crisis Stabilization Initiative. The PIC program and the Chronic Crisis Stabilization Initiative provide care to homeless individuals who are frequent utilizers of emergency rooms or who have frequent emergency detentions. These programs are designed to engage individuals in the community and connect them to the resources that will help them regain their independence.